Around the planet, there are a wide range of volcanic eruptions. Some are effusive, consisting of runny lava flows, while others are highly explosive, sending massive columns of volcanic gases and ash tens of thousands of feet into the atmosphere. Yet, despite their differences, more than 99% of the planet's eruptions produce rock types that nicely fit on this diagram that shows composition with less explosive eruptions generally originating from less silica-rich magma, and more silica-rich magmas aiding in the generation of more explosive eruptions due in part to their higher viscosities. However, throughout the planet's history, there have been some highly unusual volcanoes that have produced compositions so strange that they do not fit anywhere on this diagram. One of these differing composition volcanoes involves a rock type that is so rare that it has, depending on the scientist you ask, either not erupted or only erupted at one site on the planet in the last 20 million years. This strange rock type is generally involved in highly explosive eruptions that create several hundred foot wide craters with a prominent crater rim instead of a volcanic cone. But, more importantly, the rock in question known as Kimberley is of great economic interest, as unlike its more silica-rich counterparts, it can often contain diamonds. As a whole, Kimberlites are quite strange for a number of reasons. For example, they often do not contain any of the two most common minerals on the planet, feldspar and quartz. Instead, they often have less than 30% by weight silica, which is far lower than that of most magma varieties. Individual specimens often contain olivine, which in its gem form is known as peridot, garnets, and on rare occasions diamonds among other minerals. Also, when looking at known kimberlite deposits, you might notice something strange. They largely occur in areas of the world that have not produced any recent volcanic activity in locations such as Brazil, eastern Canada, and most famously South Africa. This is not merely a coincidence, but rather a feature of kimberlite eruptions. They generally only occur in highly stable segments of the Earth's crust known as cratons, which have uniformly old basement rock typically more than 600 million years old. Cratons generally have unusually thick segments of lithosphere, which aids in the generation of diamonds. There, at a depth of 150 to 200 kilometers, elemental carbon due to intense pressure and heat slowly becomes diamond. Kimberlite magma begins in the mantle, slowly rising shallower into the crust at unusually high speeds due to their gas-rich composition typically with a high level of carbon dioxide. Along their path upwards, the magma sometimes grabs diamonds deep underneath cratons and carries them upwards. Moving through the crust, the speed of the kimberlite intrusion continually increases, often surpassing a speed of 40 miles per hour, generating earthquakes along the way. In a matter of hours, perhaps even time spans an order of magnitude shorter, the kimberlite intrusion reaches the surface, exploding in a powerful and highly explosive eruption. While a kimberlite eruption has never been witnessed in recorded history, it is speculated that such an eruption would create a Plinian-like eruption column, possibly reaching far above 50,000 feet in height. As pyroclastic flows race across the landscape, the eruption continues. After the eruption finally ends, what remains is a several hundred foot to one mile wide crater in the ground that has a raised rim on its side, being known as a tuff ring. Although diamonds can be ejected onto the surface during these powerful eruptions, the vast majority of deposits mined today represent highly eroded segments of a kimberlite pipe where the modern surface level was originally located at a depth of several kilometers at the time of the eruption. However, just because a kimberlite pipe exists does not mean that it contains diamonds, and even if it does, the odds of containing gem-grade diamonds are even lower. The vast majority of kimberlite pipes do not contain any diamonds, much like the Buell Park kimberlite pipe in Arizona. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Melody for supporting this channel.